Oh, oh, that is like day is coming back. Like the, the cl dark cloud is like going away. Well, kinda, it is. It seems the hideaway oh, geez, the song. lost its I don't like the song. Did I put it in the twilight? I think it was that song I put it. Nah. Put this one. I'd be happy to tell Otto everything that happened. But I know he appreciates it when you spare him the time. Did you see that? Did you see? What did you see? You saw something. I. What did you see? I'm kind of concerned. Are you sick? I want to see what what other prizes I could get. Welcome to the patrons whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Hell lifted. Hugo's men's are gone. With them, the fear of my heart, or fear of our heart. Once more shall the marker echoes with the mints and the mermaids. And it's you who have to be to think. A bunch of materials and some ability points. You earned this. I just wanted ability points, that's it. No risks, no reward. What the fuck is this? There's still more? Holy shit! I thought this would be the end. This one's gold. It's legendary or something. Talisman of priming. Ooh. No risk, no reward. Yeah, I need a thousand. Best of luck out there, Sid. How much points I have now? Hmm. Fuck, I need 2,000. I want to upgrade it. Finally upgrade this one. Was wondering when you turn up. Hello, from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was gonna happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. <laughs> Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid, despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. 
Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <laughs> well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian. What's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. After him.
My attendant was with me in the Dominion before I primed. She would have watched the battle unfold and witnessed its outcome. I trust you'll be waiting for me in Tabor, where I can finally introduce you. I have so many side missions. Holy shit. What about you? Hi. What's going on? What is it that you wish to learn? Study it well, Clive. <laughs> we have the eight bits of Joshua too. Holy shit. Yeah, it brings the shocking news that Camry is under the attack from an army of ash kicks. Clive, Jill, and Joshua make up the free city. What about Torgal? You're not gonna mention him? He's some a bitch. Then we lead them through the village of Tabor, where Joshua's attendance awaits. Have I been there before? I don't think I've been there before. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been there before. Fuck. What is this? Oh. They still haven't made a move. Of course they want to make a move. They're all, they're all in, under command of the Ultima. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. What the fuck? New monsters? What are you telling me there's new monsters? What kind of new monsters we have? There's only one. The pack. The pack. I still haven't fought the fucking S class. I'm afraid. I still haven't beat this fucking bastard. He's too difficult right now. Girl stronger. I have to fight three fucking bastards. Give me a sec. Are they the only ones that has a side quest? Oh, I can't even go anywhere else. Shit. Can I even do them? Does anyone has a no? None of them has a plus sign. I was hoping one of them has a plus sign. Hey, what's wrong with you? You want me to Seems find something? Blasted book. Okay. Here, you put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan Stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but well. It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen. And I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favorites, I suggest you lend me a hand. I've never been one to play favorites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyworm. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a tea. Only, turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Used to say the ingredients even exist anymore. Well, that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? Kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. Oh, people actually like that fucking... Fucking uh, stew? A poison? What the fuck? 
there's a storm coming, Sid. Will there be fun? Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. Okay, so for now it's just... The cyclists are in this ship. For now. It might change. Lawsman Harpocrates. I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah, so the fabled Sanbriquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. <sighs> now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the wyvern, their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. Uh, how very Sambraquois. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's bonnet, in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add, that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach then. Best of luck, Clive. And do save me a bite once the dish is complete. Oh wait, it's updated. I was wondering when next you'd visit. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Fuck. If you have a question for me, I should be hey, happy to answer What's new here? It. The otherworldly being behind the otherworldly being behind the much of the tragedy of the turmoil of the uh, plague of Masitha ultimately requires a vessel, which indicates the disbodied. Soul and Clive, Curious ability to absorb powers of other icons suggests that he is the very mythos that Ultima has been long waited. He will. He wills Clive to absorb the other icons, that his vessels might be perfect. Oh, well, there's a problem, my friend. There's a big, big problem. There is seven icons, isn't it? Racing. Yeah, seven icons. In truth, the warrior of thunder, whose power most lately awakened within the Selfis Telman, dominance of the icon most often emerged from the Senate of the Motes of Thunder. The tribe who once, uh, the tribe who once dwelt in the land of the Central Ash, land of the Kingdom of the Welded, now lays claim to mayhap in the part of due to the tribes. Imperially advanced learning. Rama is associated with the wisdom of judgment to this day. Oh yeah, this is just a little problem. He wants to have all icons power. Or he wants Clive to absorb, but there's still one icon is missing. Isn't that the water? 
look we have one two three four five six seven still one missing uh if it doesn't count he never existed so he doesn't count as an icon that people know so there's still a water that should be the leviathan isn't it we haven't seen the leviathan or we heard about the dominant of leviathan still missing that bastard Who's this? Who wants to talk to me? Who are you? Oh, it's you. What am I gonna do? Is everything all right, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble and she's... <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. <sighs> Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There was a trader came by. Yeah, yeah. One of our usuals, like, said he'd heard some rotten rumors about her down Dallymill Way. Focus saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but. I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. And that bastard is making me do all the fucking talking. Hey, what's going on? Are you actually working with the bandits? Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade then. Both in and out of the hideaway. Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. What exactly? Are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care, but here you are today raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking. Out of interest. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating. Uh, about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I... I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day. God damn it. Alright. You made me get in trouble, you son of a bitch. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded, and that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth, along with some other things that made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. Why would people say she was? 
What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me, you'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? <sighs> I suppose it is. So a bitch. What the fuck? Off limits. That means you. What the? That's my first time seeing that. What the fuck? I have side quests here. Don't tell me it's another fucking blacksmith something. Okay. What about you? Who are you? Help a request. I apologize for the sudden. On towards gesture, circumstance has been cho uh, forced me to seek immediate aid, as there is no other than who I may turn. Your most esteemed lord uncle has presented me with much not much fixing. I fear I'm unwilling, unable to form the fault expectation. Blame me due to the mark of a lack of materials, acquainted of the, my part, for which I am but a man, man servant, not a mercenary. While I maintain the fitness attempt to attend the needs of a manor, the attending of a bandit's back alley. Surely ill equipped. You, if it please you, my lord, I uh, pray it comes to the CS the Martha rest where I shall proceed to explaining, okay? Yes. Rutherford. Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he be at Martha's rest? We are not doing that one yet because I don't think I could fucking travel there. Oh yeah. Where the fuck I put it in the fucking scarf? In the middle! Why the fuck we put it in the middle? Where the fuck we put it in the middle? The middle should be the most supporting thing. It's not the most supporting thing. God fucking damn it. It shouldn't have been the fucking Sid's uh Sid's cup. What do you reckon we should do? Sid! Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh! Then just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We dis... dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? And why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. Miss Mididol said, The best way I see how something worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. Well then, your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh... <laughs> About that. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. Then. Then. Um. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? Am I actually gonna fix this? All right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Oh. Hey. Wait. Yeah. 
Is it like I had to choose what to put in there? Is it in the gear or is it? This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minadol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and... That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. We know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see, it's not so difficult. Okay, I thought like I had to choose like what to go in there first. But no, we're just learning about them. God damn it. This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goot? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body. Just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Ah, all finished. Yes, we did it. Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We're Miss Middadol's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah. Hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Middadol and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Hey, look! We never used the cogwheel! You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? Did the scale need the cogwheel? Didn't happen to forget anything, did you, Sid? You little fucking shit. You're talking shit to me now? You sound angry. Why <laughs> what the fuck you sound angry? I don't think I fucking scale needed a cogwheel. Did it? I don't think you needed it. <laughs> Motherfucker was talking shit right now. Fuck. Alright. There's a storm coming, Sid. I found uh, your scale. Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. 
The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else it would be an opportunity, but to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. Damn. I wanted it in 2000 already. God damn it. Alright then. So I... Wait, I have three more. Oh yeah. So I can't do the side missions because they're locked away because I have to do the main mission first. God damn it. <laughs> 